Sebastian Inlet, Florida State Park, and it's uh, north of Vero Beach and south of Melbourne. It's uh, right on A1A, and it's both sides of the, uh, of course, the intercoastal and the east of the Atlantic Ocean. The park is uh, split into two. There's a bridge separating the north from the south. The south is where the campground is. You want to make the left before the bridge. And uh, this is the uh, check-in uh, ranger station with the museum in the front. The central location of Sebastian Inlet's tent and RV campground. It makes it a popular camping spot. They have 51 campsites. They all have water and electrical hookups. They have a fire ring with grill. Of course, a picnic table. Very clean restrooms. The only thing they don't have is a dump station uh, at each site, but they do have a central dump station. The building also has a washroom. The campground was great. Uh, issues with the uh, site, the size. The only thing I have to say is, not to sound too negative about it, but there's lots of no -see Those little nets, those mosquitoes that are really annoying. Um, but if you stay by the water, uh, it's no problem at all. If you love fishing, camping, and boating, this is the place. Look at that beautiful sunset. Of course, my buddies were teasing me because I didn't get a spot by the water. Like my other friends did with their tents. This park is a favorite for anglers nationwide for catching snook, redfish, bluefish, and Spanish mackerel from its jetties especially. Sunset is getting more and more beautiful as that sun goes down. Next day we're off to explore the uh, park. Started with the um, campground island we were on. There's some fishing going on there and the ranger is checking for fishing permits. Uh, waterfront pavilions and picnic areas are great for family outings. They have nice restrooms and they're everywhere. The boat ramps uh, that are available on the south side where the campground is has four boat ramps. It's open 24 hours like I said before. And then the, the other one is a mile north to Sebastian Inlet across the bridge off of A1A. As you see there's plenty of parking for boat trailers. Exiting the park from the south side and going north on A1A across the bridge we will be going to the north side of the state park and as you go over the bridge you look to the right that is the inlet. Beautiful inlet and to the left is our campground of course there's the intercoastal side the lagoon side or the Indian River. Here's the concession stand and gift shop we'll be visiting. And also we enter Brevard County as we go to the bottom of this bridge here. Welcome to Brevard County. So that's the dividing line there. Yeah. And this is oh, left here. And within a quarter of a mile, you make a left into the entrance of the north uh, side of the park. There's no entrance fee uh, on this side of the park if you're, of course, paid for the south side. Now from this side, you have access to the jetty, of course, the concession stand, and the beach on that side of the beach there on the lagoon side. Um, there's many little things here that you can do but the fishing and the surfing is, I think, the best thing. They even have manatees here. Manatees. Uh, look at that. You can look, but please don't touch chase feet. This is the Lagoon Beach on the uh, west side of the park. As you see, the parking is off a dirt road. 
The back of the restaurant and gift shop has a walkway that goes all the way to the beach. The beaches are beautiful and they're very clean. There is no lifeguard on duty, so you are swimming at your own risk. We are now on the famous jetty, the uh, inlet, Sebastian Inlet Jetty. Well, he's turn around, look, look, he didn't make it. Oh. Uh, at least he turned around way before. The water is way too rough to be going onto the ocean with a boat. On the north side of the jetty, we noticed some surfing. Uh, some of the best surfing on the east coast, they say. One of the most consistent surf breaks in Florida is Sebastian Inlet's first peak. Uh, located next to the North Jetty, the contour of the ocean floor rises up and when the surf is big, the waves form long lines, giving a long ride. And the surrounding waters provide fantastic Florida fishing for beach, river, and inlet anglers. Impressive catches are often uh, made from the two jetties. Uh, ex extending into the Atlantic Ocean. We walked all the way there. There must have been over a hundred people in, in, on that jetty fishing. A little bit too crowded, but they were catching, I'll tell you that. They are trying to jump out. What kind of fish are these? Oh, these. Jack. Jack. Yeah, he's got it going, man. Come on, baby. Sucker. Got it. Yeah, big one. Yeah, he ended up losing it. That's too bad. It's a nice size. The concession restaurant and gift shop that recently opened under a new service provider. It's open from 9 a.m. till uh, 5 p.m. It has a very small gift shop and uh, fast food restaurant. If you go up the stairs, go to the top deck, there is some beautiful scenery up here. You can see the uh, jetty where all the people are fishing. That's where we were before. I apologize for the clarity of this, this clip here because I didn't bring my Sony to zoom in, so I used my uh, iPhone. Right, there's the tackle shop just below see the inlet bridge there and the uh, restaurant hall to the right which it's used for lots of weddings I heard that that's towards our campground right this there. side you have the beach lagoon great for kids that's the one we passed earlier as we drive out of the park we're passing the ranger station and museum to our left see you later Right on Highway 8 So Stacy, put his arms out. Show me. Here's what happens. Yeah, this, is what happens. <laughs> this is what happens. This is what happens. Oh, it's a bitch. Oh, those look like red ass now. Yeah. Those are not those things. I'm telling you, I think this they were on that. They were on something like uh, what? A cracker barrel? If you want to try? Uh, what do you want to do? 9.8 miles from here. Oh, we had a great time. Besides the noceums, and uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day.